So for this video, we're going to discuss how to use both of the detectors, the UV detector and the RI detector for the GPC. So to start, you have to go to the Lab Solutions main window and click on Instruments on the left-hand side and GP System. This will open another window, which is this window. Um, in, this, in this window, you have to go to the main and then Data Acquisition on the left-hand side. From here, you would go to File and then open the method file so that we can uh, select the detectors that we want to use. You can see we have a bunch of different files here that you can choose from, so just choose the one based on the wavelength of UV light that you want to detect. Um, so as soon as you click that, it'll open up a pop-up window, which is right here. And you can see that we have detector A and detector 82. Detector A is our UV light detector, and 82 is our RI detector. If you want to use both at the same time, you have to make sure that they're both checked. And as soon as they are, you can just go ahead and close the window. Now that we've made that change in the, or in the method file, we have to save our method file. So if you made any changes, make sure you save as and save and denote what you've, what you've changed. So in this case, the only thing we changed was that we selected both detectors and we already have that file made. So we're not going to save this file because we already have that one. So then the next step would be to just go back to the main and then go to the real-time batch, which can also be seen on the bottom there on the other tab. And now we can see all of the other samples that we have. Um, we have our standard, as well as our unknown sample, our drain cycle, and our recycle cycle. And you want to make sure that your sample type for the standard, or however many standards you have, is, are all set to standard, and that your unknown samples are also set to standard. You have to do this because if you have the sample type set to unknown for the unknown sample, only the UV detector will pick up any signal. So by having it set to standard, you'll have both detector signals. Then the last thing you want to do is make sure you select the correct method file for both the standard and the, sam the unknown sample that you edited at the beginning. As long as you have done that, you can go ahead and select all of your files that you want to run on the GPC and hit on the left-hand side, start real-time batch, and just go ahead and start your GPC run.